Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be talking about League of Legends, specifically five ways to get better via chat and communication with your teammates or by yourself individually. So of course guys though is make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. You guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell if you really want to find out the new videos that come out. But let's go ahead and get right into it and start talking about my top five reasons or top five things you can do to get better via chat and communication. Number one, be positive. Don't be negative. Just be positive. It sounds simple, but in League of Legends, it's way harder than it sounds like to be positive in the game. Basically, guys, what you have to do is keep your chat to a minimum. Just go ahead, give GG's, nice jobs, good kill, those kind of things. Don't flame your teammate because he made a mistake. Don't just get mad at them and forget what happened last game. That's one of the biggest things. With this communication thing, don't get mad at someone else because you had a bad game last game and be like, oh, this guy went AFK last game, so I'm going to be mad at everyone. Got to get over that stuff, guys. You got to focus on the now and what's happening in the immediate and being positive because no one wants to be with a toxic player. We all talk about it even when we've been toxic ourselves. Is we don't like playing with toxic players. We talk about how the League of Legends community is toxic. The only way to get around the toxicity is to go ahead and play it yourself and focus on what you are specifically doing yourself. So that's one of the biggest things is make sure you are positive and you continue forward being positive and play that. So now that's going to go ahead and bring us to number two. Number two, mute toxic players. So you do have that guy on your team. You're like, GG, good job. It's like, you're missing CS. Or he then goes and says, you missed the dragon play. Way not to be a team player. You're an idiot. Or he does some kind of swear word or tells you to kill yourself or whatever he ends up doing. Just go ahead and mute him. Mute his pings, mute his emotes, mute all that stuff. Same thing goes for the other team. If you don't want to see their emotes and it drives you nuts, mute them. Mute them all. Get rid of all that crap. Get rid of all that stuff. Get it out of the way and just remove it. Because if you remove it, you don't know it's there. And that's the best thing to do sometimes. Because even pings can get a hold of you. Where you can see a guy doing an emote over and over and over. Just trying to be a troll. Move on from it. You don't need to be there. You don't need to be a part of it. So hit the mute button. There's the mute all command. You can just mute people by clicking on them in the scoreboard. You can click how much you want. If you just want to do a chat, mute the chat. Whatever you want to do. Trust me, it's a much, much nicer place when you mute everyone on your place and just get rid of them completely. Because sometimes you just can't fix those people. And all you can do is continue playing with the people that you have that are somewhat positive or are completely positive, And you can play with them at the exact same time. So I would focus on that and making sure you mute people. So along with those first two, where it's being positive and muting toxic players, we're going to move on to number three. Number three is two pings will do. So this is one of my personal pet peeves, but I think when I personally control the amount of pings, if someone hasn't seen what you meant after two pings, they're not going to see it on the third, the fourth, or the fifth, or the 900th if you keep pinging them, missing, missing, nice job, whatever you want to do. And that person that is doing it, I consider them a toxic player. You mute them just like it says in number two. But what I'm saying, guys, is just ping them twice. Ping, ping, you do it twice, that's all you need to do. I don't need five. Five is going to distract people. Just do two and move on with it. So that means if you guys have a ping where you're saying help me here or whatever it is, you ping it twice. If they don't come, they don't come. That's their choice. All you can do is communicate through pings, which goes back to being in number one and will tie into number five also is pings are great. Pings are one of the best ways to communicate with your teammates. You don't have to do much. You just have to click a little button and ping it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. It's very easy. And it's very quick. And it doesn't take you away from the game very long. And that's what's extremely important is not moving away from the game too long and focusing on those specific things and trying to make them happen. So once we've got through being positive, muting toxic players, two pings will do, we have to move into number four. And number four is more of a communication tip rather than anything else, and that is get the enemy vision ping, specifically enemy vision here. And that's where it's got the little eyeball and the arrow pointing to a brush. That is one of the greatest pings I think that there is in the game right now, because when your jungle is coming over to gank, if you want to tell him there's a uh, ward in that brush, if he's sitting there and he starts walking towards the brush, you have to stop, type in, ward in the brush, don't come down here, whatever it is. If you hit the enemy vision ping, you ping it twice, he goes, oh, there's vision in there, they're going to know I'm coming. And if he goes and be, does stupid, you can say nothing. You move on, you let him do his mistakes and let him make his mistakes and you move on from it because people aren't perfect and they're going to make mistakes. And there's no reason to flame them, which goes back to positive 
players. And if he's going to be toxic and say, I went in and you didn't come support me, you can say because they didn't know it, but or you can sit there and type all day. And that's not going to solve the problem either because then you're typing all day, which we're going to go ahead and jump into number five, which I think is the most important. And I've kind of hinted towards it this entire thing is number one, as I said, is be positive. Number two, mute toxic players. Number three, two pings will do. Number four, enemy vision, ping, make sure you have it. And number five, don't talk in chat. So I think this is one of the largest ones that we all find ourselves doing, and it's hard not to do in general because you want to tell people you're wrong or whatever it is, or you want to tell them that they made the mistake, not you, to get that gratification. But really, talking and ping beyond GG, nice job, good kill, something quick, takes you away from the game. If you're typing out a full sentence in chat, how long does that take you off your keyboard of typing something else? Even when you're dead, it still takes it away, and then someone's going to respond to it, and you're distracting your teammates. Focus on the pings. I've noticed some of the games where no one talks in chat other than one or two words every once in a while really are the best ways to do it because then people play together. They focus on the pings. They focus on being positive, and they're not toxic because you're not talking. If you're not talking, how can you be toxic? How can someone be mad at you? You're a feeder. Well, I'm not a feeder because simply I haven't been talking. Or you are being trolly or you're being toxic because of what? If you have nothing against you, you don't have to say anything. And when it comes to the end game lobby, same conversation. GG, move on with the game. Because the game's over. There's no point. People aren't going to change. People have to choose to change. And if they ask for advice, you're more than welcome to give it to them. But if they don't ask for the advice, they're not going to listen to it. So move on. That's part of number five, too, is don't talk in chat. It's just literally just don't talk in chat. All chat's a waste of time. All that stuff is a waste. It's just going to take you away from your ability to play the game. So if you're trying to get better and you're trying to get up higher and climb the ranks, you need to follow these five steps, and I need and, and no one's perfect on them. I should be very clear that I make the same mistakes as everyone else where I get frustrated with the game and you get upset and then you start becoming toxic. You're not positive. You start pinging people like crazy. You don't have your enemy ping. You're not telling your teammates where your vision is for the other team. And then you're just talking in chat all the time. And when you do those things, it's going to take your game and it's going to slow you down, make you not as efficient, and then you're going to fall behind and you're going to lose more games. So if you aren't talking in chat, you're muting the negative players, you're getting rid of all the BS around the game, you're done. That's it. You simply move on, you play the game, you focus on the climb, and you focus on the game. You can't win every game. Let's be clear. No one's going to go 9 million and 0. It's not going to happen. You're going to lose some games. No one's perfect. So what you have to do is forget the last game, keep communicating with your teammates when they want to communicate with you, through ping specifically, get out of the chat menu, and go ahead and do it. If you're playing with a buddy, play with them in chat, because even in chat, technically can take you away a little bit from the thing, so the less you talk in chat, the better. But at the same time, you can communicate in a chat, and I'm talking a Discord or TeamSpeak or something of that nature, where you're communicating via voice and hearing the person, not typing and taking your hands off the keyboards of the keys you need. So that is kind of an unofficial number six is if you have to communicate, do it in Discord or something of that nature because it allows you to communicate with people better. So overall, guys, I hope these help you on your climb, whether you're in bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, masters, whatever it is, wherever you are, how great you are, whatever it is. I think these five are a universal thing that everyone can go with and everyone can work on in a better way and shape and form. And this will also change the community in general if everyone started doing these things, but it's never going to happen. So all you can do is control what you can control. And this allows you to keep that control by not doing specific things. So once again, we're going to give you those five one more time is number one, be positive. Number two, mute those toxic players, get them out of here. Number three, two pings will do. Number four, make sure you have the enemy vision ping as an available button to hit. And number five, don't talk in chat. Just leave it at what it is. If you want to say nice job or something, give a positive feedback, go ahead, but keep it short. NJ works just fine. Everyone knows what it means or good kill, whatever you need to type and do it when you have a chance, when you're backed and in your base or you're coming back to your lane. Don't do it while you're CSing. That's a waste of time. If you're doing it while you're CSing, that's going to be an issue. So once again, guys, I hope this video helps you. I hope you guys all end up in Diamond. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. 
and make sure you hit that notification button. As always, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts around the communication idea, let us know in the comments down below. Let everyone know. If you think my five are bogus, let me know and go ahead and list out whatever ones you think are better. And as always, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you guys check us out on Patreon, check out our merchandise page, whatever it is, let us know and you guys can check it out on there. But as always, make sure everyone you have a fantastic day and I hope we see you all on the next episode of Loomer's Corner.